Okay, so this is what we call a little bit of a I go, you go, high intensity training. So everybody knows that watches my videos and follows a training program, uh, knows that I'm a big fan of higher intensity, low volume sets. And there's a lot of different ways to do that. There, there's always ways um, that you can increase the intensity of a set by doing drop sets or rest pause sets or forced reps or partials and all kinds of things like that. Uh, this particular method, um, I was just trying to think of something different, uh, something different, different to do on chest day to kind of spark some new growth. So my uh, training partner and I, we, we we're roughly the same strength. Um, a lot of things with chest so this this method really works best that. if you're just with two workout partners and you have roughly the same strength um, on this particular exercise the flat hammer we start off with uh, 100 pounds on each side which actually was a little bit too light and I also think that we took off too much weight each time we took off 25 pounds each time until we were down to just 25 pounds on each side of the flat hammer press. Each side we went, each time we went to failure though. So the basic idea is you, you load up a weight or you load the machine up with a weight that you can do ideally around six to eight times, go to failure, and then your training partner has to at least match you on their set. They're only resting enough to take off some weight. You go back on and you try to do at least one more rep than you did the previous time. Then they go and try to match you and beat you. I would say three or four times is probably enough. I wouldn't do more than that, three or four rounds. Uh, like I said, when you watch this video right here, this, this was the first time we tried it. And I think, or maybe we started off with a decent amount of weight. I think I got five or six reps the first time, which I guess that was okay. But I definitely, we, we should have taken off uh, maybe 15 or 20 pounds instead of 25. We got a little bit too light. We got too many reps at the end. Because ideally, you want to get maybe six reps, then maybe seven reps, and eight reps, and maybe 10 reps in the last time. And as you, you'll see, I think we get like 15 to 20 reps on the last set. The important thing, though, as always, is that no matter what you do, you keep your um, form, you keep your focus, you keep your intensity, and every time you train, just keep that in mind that the form never breaks, and you always try to find uh, new ways to, to increase the intensity of the muscles you're training. Um, last always, last so enjoy the last uh, drop set here. It looks like we're down to just a 25 pound plate. And as you'll see, it's a little bit too light. But again, this is just the first time we ever tried this, so I think next time we'll know a little bit better. But that's what it's all about, is trying some things, keeping the intensity on all your exercises, and having a good time every time you work out. So enjoy the rest of the video. Two reps. There you go. Another one. Nice. Nice, guys. 